Hi there, how are we doing? My name's Phil. I'm going to give you a video demonstration of how to create a Facebook fan page using the new iframes because Facebook has recently changed. They used to be using something called static FBML, but that's no longer in use and it's all changed over and upgraded to iframes. So I'm just going to show you a demonstration of how to create one. Um, if you start off on your Facebook page, if you go down to the scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see a little few things in the bottom there writing and on the right at the bottom you'll see create a page if you click on that um, you'll, that'll bring you up to here and um, you just select which one you want to do um, for this example I'm going to click on brand or product then ask you to choose a category I'm going to use a website and for the purpose of this video I'm going to call this tutorial ok you agree to the Facebook pages terms click on the get started and that should just load up the page Give it a second. Things are running a little bit slowly for me today, so uh, just try and bear with me the best you can. While the computer runs a bit slow, and what with that and Facebook not running as fast as it can do sometimes. Right, other top, you can just update your category. Just make sure you're happy with everything. And click the OK. Brilliant. Now the first thing you want to do is upload an image. You can just put your normal normal picture there, or if you want to create one for a fan page you can actually create a longer one which uploads into here um, you can create one yourself, I've done one already and I'll show you exactly what I mean excuse me, upload an image choose the file <coughs> I've just got to find where it is and there we go Right, we get into pictures. So I've done this already just to make things slightly quicker. And da, 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 over here, what I've used for this example, I've used The Apprentice. I mean, you can use any sport, any hobby, any pastime, any program, anything you're into whatsoever. Um, well, I just use this one as an example. Upload the picture. Give it a second to load up, and there we go. And this is what I created earlier. Um, so just put obviously Lord Sugar's face on there, um, with some lyrics, and some text, etc. Um, if you want to create this over here, you, what you need the size to be is 180 by 500. Now I use something that's called X Header. That's X H E A D E R. Um, X Header dot com. It's a very very simple um, thing to use. A little bit like Photoshop. Um, but to use it you need 180 by 500 I'll show you, I'll get the X header template up here, this is what happens when you get into X header and you click on the new tab create a blank header and it gives you the size options are so you just literally put in 180 by 500 and you click OK and then they'll load up your blank template size to start working with and like that looks like a square, does it look small, but obviously you've got the scroll bar here and move it up and down which covers the whole length of it and this is very very simple basic stuff, makes it very easy to use, click an image put in colour, put in text etc like I say very easy to use, very easy to follow along you want it 180 by 500 and when you've developed that you can then upload it to your uh, PC and then put it straight up, brilliant ok um, let's get on the top and we're going to now go to edit the info and it's going to bring you up with this page here and again this is the stuff we started off with and we've got a username and your page needs at least 25 fans to have a username I think that's fairly self-explanatory this name here is what you called it when you first started now this is the only bit you can't change even though it'll let you click on it and change it now um, it's, it's set in stone, it won't change it so well. when you start off at the beginning and you pick your category and you want to choose what you're going to call your fan page make sure it's a name that you're happy with because you will not be able to change that a later date, excuse me, I don't know why that's coming up um, and you can put in any further details you want on your fan page and when you're happy with all those just click save changes when you've done that you want to come over here again look down the side here, what you're looking for now is apps just here, apps, ok uh, so you click on the apps and this is the preloaded ones that are already on there but what you need to do, you need to get an iframe app on there to build your fan page with so if you go to the search box and you click in iframe or html there's a few that will come up um, 
Now, the two main ones, or the two most popular ones at the moment, you've got this one here with the star. This is static HTML. That's the first main one that took over from the static FBML. Um, this is a very good one, and a lot of users, but it's a lot around inserting the HTML coding onto your fan page, which if you're happy with that and you're quite familiar with that, then great, go for it. It's quite easy to follow. But what I picked for this tutorial is this one up at the top here with a W. It's called iWhipper. So it looks like two men holding a W sign. I click on that one. The reason I've picked this one is it's very, very newbie friendly. It makes it very, very easy to use and easy to follow along. Uh, so that's the one that I've recommended and that's the one I'm using for this tutorial purposes. This video is going to be split into two, just so you know, because uh, it'll be quite lengthy, I should think. I'm going to get it all onto one video. So I'm going to zip through the early stages of part one, and then we're going to edit in the page into part two. Okay, once you've clicked on that one, it loads up here. This is what you're going to see. And this is the basic, what you're going to be creating inside your fan page. This is like a header, because um, you can actually create almost like an internal website into your fan page um, with all these different headers and titles like for this example they've got home, fans, features, support, contact us, showcase, GoPro, etc. You can insert YouTube videos very, very easily. Um, so when that comes up, you literally just go over to this button here, click here to install iWhipper. It's free. So this show you really to show you how easy all this is. And there's also um step by step instructions. And when you've clicked that it'll say um, choose a page where you want to add it. So if you've got several pages, they'll all come up. Or if you've just got the one you just created, it's going to be the only one. If you remember, we called it tutorial. So you click on tutorial. You'll then get the usual allow Facebook box to come up. I click on that again, and that'll take you back to the fan page that you were just creating over here. There we go. Now. This bit here, I want to tell you about why on here, it's very, very straightforward. The usual sort of thing when you're on Facebook, uh, all about building up your fan base. You've got to suggest to friends, import contacts, post updates, status updates, um, add a like box, and set up your mobile phone. Then if you come down to the bottom here, to your little tabs, and you've got, you've got this like, blue ball sign here with a welcome, that's the app that you just put on. That's the one you want to be using to build up your fan page. Okay. So you click on that, and it's very, very simple. Well, again, you get a box, welcome box. Click here to activate your page. Click on that, and it's going to bring up the settings. One sec, well, it just loads again. They're running a little bit slowly at the moment. I've got quite a few things running, um, along with the Facebook not being particularly fast today for me, anyway. And here we go. And you get all these tabs here. Um, and we're going to start off here with tabs and layout. Okay, click the first one, tabs and layout. Incidentally, you might want to notice this box. Um, it says click here to watch the video tutorials. It's another, another very good point of this app. It, um, all the little bits and pieces got inside it. It's got like a separate video tutorial for each of them. But somewhat like just one two minutes in length, but it shows you in quite good detail and very makes it very easy to follow. That's why I like this app. Okay, click on the tabs and layout, and what it will come up with is your first page you're going to be doing, which is the home tab. And if you scroll down, it's got um, this is what I call about the drag and drop, and it's got quite a few things you can put in it. And if you want them in, you put, drag them in. If you want them out, take them out. Um, for this example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a few out. I'm going to take out the text scroller, take out the share, take out the comments, and I'll take out also the show fans. And I'm just going to keep in media box, and I'm going to keep in YouTube as well. Uh, they're two of the main ones. Um, but I'll, use, I'll show you how to set these two up, and then the rest of it is literally following the same instructions. So you click on Save Layout over here. Your settings have been saved. Brilliant. And then we go up the top and you want the squiggly line to edit the page. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the video here and then in part two I'm going to show you how we edit the page to
to put on some text and some photos and a YouTube video as well. Okay, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in part two.